Uh, we also know you, of course, from Unwrapped on the Food Network. Let's get started. I can't wait to hear your opinion Let's on this it. next story, actually. Mm -hmm. Katie Couric is talking about her former Today Show co-host, Matt Lauer. She now says that while she only can speak for her own positive relationship with Matt, she thinks a lot of stories about him have been misreported. She also addressed her now famous remarks on Watch What Happens Live back in 2012 when she said that Matt's most annoying habit was grabbing her butt. Watch. And it was so antithetical to the nature of our relationship. I thought it would be funny. Right. Because it was so weird. Well, I laughed too, and then people got on me for, oh, and look at him. No, no, no. White it was privilege, a, it was laughing. A, it was totally a joke. Right. It was totally a was joke. It was totally a joke. But I was really sorry I had made that joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. All right. Okay, I was just talking to uh, Mark in the break because you know Matt Lauer. So can you shed some light on this? What, do you, do you feel comfortable talking about it? Well, when this all came out, I, I, I'm going to sound like a name drop here, and I don't mean to be, but I, I have like 700 games of Words with Friends with Al Roker going at all times. And so I said to Al, what are your thoughts? And he said, this is not the Matt that we knew. And so, once again, I wasn't there. I don't want to say anything against the women who said what they said. So you believe the women, but you also know them to be... He, you know, it's one of those deals like everybody's signing the thing for Tom Brokaw. Always nice to me, terrific right. guy. I've interacted with him on shows that I've hosted where he's been a guest. I can't tell you how many Today Show segments I've done with Matt Lauer. And he's always been the utmost professional man ever. So uh, I'm not a woman. Uh, I wasn't in his office. Uh, I've, the one thing that upsets women the most, I find out, is this so-called button that he had where he could lock the door from his desk. You feel powerless. Well, I, I guess that's, that's the deal. So I don't know. I never saw that side of him ever.